And so in this video, we're going to be looking at the 3D effects that can be done once the guest editions have been installed on Linux. And we'll be looking at the seamless mode that is very nice inside of VirtualBox that's used in both Windows and Linux and whatever operating system that you're using. The first thing you will notice once you have the guest editions installed is the fact that whenever you move your mouse around now, you can go ahead and move it. I'm clicking inside of the uh, Ubuntu Linux operating system and I can also move in and out anywhere on the uh, desktop without having to use that control, right control F uh, key or uh, control right button to get in and out of the, virtu the virtual machine. Another thing you're going to notice that when you go in full screen mode now, the, the operating system will cover the entire screen because now we have access, you know, to the virtual machine understands your video card, so your graphics card, and so now you can go ahead and it's going to automatically adjust to your monitor screen, so you don't have to go ahead and fiddle around uh, with your fiddle around with your uh, you know resolution. This will automatically take place, and it just looks really nice when the Linux operating system is covered. Or whatever operating system. This is very nice if you're using Windows XP too. Whether you're using Linux, Solaris, Windows, it's going to cover the entire screen and it really looks nice. So let's get out of full screen mode. Let's look at um, the 3D effects, which is very popular. What you want to do in Linux is you want to go to Appearance and you want to go ahead and you will go to Visual Effects. You want to go down to extras. Once that's uh, loaded up, it's going to change the uh, desktop. Now, don't worry if you get this message after you know you chose the extras after the guest editions have been installed. Basically what this means is that you haven't set up the 3D acceleration so basically all we want to do is just go ahead and power off and we're going to go down to 3D acceleration go to display the display should pop up and enable 3D, 3D acceleration and now when we start the Ubuntu 9 up. Now the 3D acceleration allows you to play 3D intensive uh, games and graphic based software. Um, and it's very popular on Linux because it allows you to have all those nice little window effects. And those other nice visuals in the Linux world. And once we, once I show off the eye candy that Linux has to offer, we'll discuss Seamless and demonstrate that, which is a really nice feature. We're going to go ahead and go to full screen mode here. And down here, if you look here, we have a little tab here. This allows you to have, this is basically your options, brings you a little menu for your virtual machine options. So you don't have to go to the file menu, so very nice. Let this get loaded up here. You see that Ubuntu 9 system is starting up. It's going to request us to enter our username <coughs> and password. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and put our password. This time, going to make sure that we have our nice little visual effects that Ubuntu 9. Now, I have tried using the visual effects effects with um, other <coughs> Linux systems, and I have noticed that some Linux 
um, versions are not compatible because the uh, guest editions does not support that operating system. So Ubuntu is just one of the lucky ones. So we're going to go to System Preferences. We're going to say Appearance. This is going to bring up. Then we're going to switch to Extras. And it should change the visual feel <clears throat> to our system. And once we have that selected, we'll notice that the window now jumps and wobbles about. Let's put that on full screen mode so we can see. And this is the nice little eye candy that uh, Linux has to offer. The nice little uh, windowing effect. We can close this. View, so when you open up any window, such as the video folder, you notice how it wobbles around. Oh, I just love that wobbling. You can never get too tired of moving around the windows inside of Linux because the jumping is just so awesome. So that's one of the nice little uh, 3D effects. There's a lot more with uh, Linux, but we just want to focus and make sure that the 3D acceleration was successfully uh, interpreted and set up, and it has. Now let's discuss the Seamless feature. Seamless is uh, very similar to the Coherence and Parallels. And to activate this, we could just go ahead and hit... Uh, let's see what key that is. That's, no, we don't want to shut down. Let's go ahead and let's figure out which key that is. So we're going to go ahead, the host L key. We can use that. And this is seamless. Now, the seamless mode doesn't really work well um, with the 3D accelerate or the 3D effects on. So let's go ahead and get out of this. And what we want to do is we want to go to appearance and change the visual effects back to none. And now when we go into full screen mode or seamless mode, get that. We can open up the windows nicely. Now with the 3D effects on, it doesn't work too well because you won't be able to move the windows about. They will just kind of be frozen there. But once you have the, the, if you have it turned off, then you can go ahead and move windows about, open up programs, and everything will just look really nice. And notice how we open up folders, and they just look so nice together. And here's a nice little office program, open office, for Ubuntu. And we see how we can now run our Ubuntu operating system side by side. With our windows, we can open up windows, we can open up our pictures folder, anything we want. So that's really a nice uh, feature, very similar to that of Coherence, and that's a really nice uh, little add-on. So let's close that. Let's get out of this. And that's it for this video.